All right. So Melanie Borden LLC provides marketing and branding consulting to both businesses and individuals as a resource for guidance, as well as an outsourced marketing department, depending on a client's needs and preferences. Joining us now is Melanie Borden. Good morning, Melanie. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us today. So tell us a little bit about your company. I, I you know, I'm, I'm always looking for people who do this because I find the whole thing fascinating. Sure, absolutely. So the short way to describe what I do is I'm a marketing consultant because a lot of and that and that's very vague and it's very broad. Um, but to simplify it, I'm a marketing consultant. And the way that I would explain what my company does is we step in and work as what they call fractional marketing department or looking at me as a fractional CMO or a fractional marketing manager that can help a business. And I also work and my company also works with individuals as well. And so if someone is, you know, in need of some sort of a strategy, um, whether it's being, you know, a specific ad campaign or if it's related to social media, we can help you. That is great. And I want to focus specifically on LinkedIn because really I know LinkedIn was the catalyst for you to go on and start your own business because in a very short time, you grew your follower base to over 115,000 organic followers. How did you do that? I know it's when I think about the numbers and the scale in just a short period of time, it still, it, it blows me away sometimes as well. And it gives me so much more respect for when you see people who have like 2 million followers, because it's, it's a tremendous amount of work. And I did a post earlier this week, cause I was trying to figure out what the increase was in terms of the increase of followers that I've had from the time I started to now. And it was 3,800%, wow. which is crazy. <laughs> which is really crazy. So I got into it. I was working for a dealer group that was based out of Morris County here in New Jersey. And I was looking for some more ways to bring value to the sales teams and also bring more value to the dealership group. And I thought, well, why don't we start a branding and social media training that focuses specifically on LinkedIn? And the reason that I selected LinkedIn is because at the time, there were over 600 million um, users on the, on the platform. Today, there's over 700. And less than 1% of the people who were on the platform were actually utilizing it like a social platform. But the difference between LinkedIn and all the other social apps is that you have people that are on the platform that are in any working capacity, and you can see everything about their work history. You could see who they're connected to. Whereas other platforms, even TikTok, um, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you don't know who you're talking to. You don't know who's engaging with your posts. Whereas with LinkedIn, you see everything. And so everyone you know at any professional capacity is on LinkedIn. So how yeah, has having a, a large presence on LinkedIn mm -hmm. helped your business? So what's really interesting is when I had set out to build an audience on LinkedIn, my goal, and this would be like the first tip that I would give anyone who's looking to create their own audience on LinkedIn was to set a goal. And so my goal was to create a name as a marketer who worked in the retail automotive space. And so when you set a goal and you write it down, you're really creating accountability for yourself. And so when you, when you set these goals, it just helps you with growing your reach and, and to continue to, you know, attract new people to you. And I wasn't selling either. So it just kind of happened. And so that's the other tip is to never sell on the platform and to always bring tremendous amount of value. And so how it's really helped my business is I've built so much trust um, and, and um, value within my network that just, it just happened naturally. So over the years, for the last two years, people have been reaching out to me and saying, Hey Mel, can you help my company with this project? Can you help us with this? Do you handle organic social media? And it just kind of happened organically where I formed my own business. And I would say that a bulk of the business that I, uh, I have now comes from LinkedIn. Wow. That is awesome. Here I am thinking, oh, I'm doing LinkedIn so well. I have like 3,400 followers, but I need to hire you to, to bolster my. No, I, that's <laughs> nothing compared to you and, and a lot of others. Um, 
But it's interesting because you talk about how much work it is because it's not just the messaging. It's not just the photo. Like it's everything. Like it's right. a lot of steps. And a lot of people think that they don't have the budget to do that or the bandwidth or the time. So mm -hmm. what do you recommend? That's why I recommend really setting a goal and deciding what it is you want from the platform and what you're looking to do. And then commit to a time frame that works for your schedule. Because the biggest thing that I see when other people, they get so excited about LinkedIn, like I'll go and do a training and they're so excited and they're ready to go. And then they never follow through because they haven't set up a time frame for themselves, like consistent schedule that works the best. So creating that consistent cadence that works best for you and then really holding yourself accountable to continuing to post. Melanie, what, um, any other just uh, tips for social media in general that, that people can start to follow that are looking to, to just grow across platforms? Absolutely. I look at social media now after, you know, a couple of years of being really active on it as, a way that you can create yourself as a trusted advisor. So whatever industry you're in, you have something to teach and you can tell people about it. And that's really what it's all about is giving and giving and not receiving anything in return, but to just know that when you give and you're teaching and you're educating others on your fields and what you do, people are naturally going to be gravitated towards you and you position yourself as a subject matter expert. So even if you're not, you can be because you're talking about it so much that people think, okay, well, if I want to talk to someone about a morning show, well, I need to talk to the ladies on the New Jersey morning show because they're always <laughs> giving us feedback and they're always talking to us, you know, about the things that we should be doing to be on camera and so on and so forth. So you could really position yourself however you want um, and to give and give and give. And the people that you see specifically on LinkedIn that are teaching in their posts and providing value have the most engagement. And another tip that a lot of people don't know about is to like your own posts. <laughs> see, I thought that was a little narcissistic. I to like, like your own post, right? I, I, yes. you know, that's interesting that you're saying that because I never do yes. that. So a lot of people are like, why are you liking your stuff? Like, do you love yourself so much yeah. that you're liking your own posts? Um, but the truth is, is when you like a post, you're engaging with it. And the LinkedIn algorithm and all social media algorithms, they thrive off of engagement. So every time you like someone's post, you comment on a post, you interact in any way with a post, that's engagement. And you want to do that with your own. And then your connections will see your content faster. And so that will really help you become more visible. And it's a faster way to grow your own brand on LinkedIn. Interesting. I, I, I'm going to new. I love that tidbit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's very, very easy. And I have to say, I mean, I post everything, like all my work content. Both of you know this, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. You know, but LinkedIn, I guess, always in my head comes in last, but that's silly of me because I sometimes get the best engagement on my LinkedIn versus the yeah. other platforms. And we're having so much fun on LinkedIn and so many people that aren't really active on the platform don't necessarily know how much fun it is because yeah. it's, I just love the, the concept of anyone can grow an audience on LinkedIn if they're willing to be consistent and show up. And, and just do a little bit of tweaking to their posting because there's less than 1% of people out there that are actually utilizing it as a social platform versus yeah. other platforms where that percentage is so much higher, where yeah. there's so much opportunity on, on LinkedIn to grow your own personal brand. I love that. I love it. Melanie Borden, thank you so much for joining us today and for all your advice. Where can people find you and more about your business and or you know sign up to be a client? Okay. Awesome. Um, the best way to reach me is my website, which is melanieborden.com. Um, you could also find me on LinkedIn. You can find me on Instagram, Melanie Borden LLC. Um, you can find me on Twitter, Melanie Borden LLC. And you can also find me on TikTok. I am Melanie Borden. <laughs> That's a, right, other, really? that's a whole other, that's a whole other lesson. <laughs> I think it's a whole other animal. I, I don't understand yeah. it still. <laughs> we'll have you Happy back for too. that one. <laughs> Melanie, thank you so much. Have you have yourself a great weekend. Thank you so much, ladies. Thanks, Melanie.